Hello, everyone, and welcome to Children's Liturgy at Holy Trinity. Today is the third Sunday of Easter. The Easter season is even longer than Lent was. Who knows how many days the Easter season lasts for? Right, 50 days. And how long is Lent? 40 days, you're right. So let's begin with our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, help us this Easter season as we live out the joy of your resurrection. Bless our families and our friends, and help us to always remember to forgive those who have hurt us, and to ask forgiveness when we hurt others. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's listen carefully to the first reading for today. This is a reading from, excuse me, from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of our ancestors, Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, has now glorified Jesus. You took him to Pilate and accused him of things he did not do. And even when Pilate wanted to free him, you said, no. You asked Pilate to free the murderer instead of Jesus, who was good and holy. You killed the one who gives us eternal life. But God raised him from the dead, and we have seen him. But I know, my brothers and sisters, that you really didn't understand what you were doing when you put Jesus to death. Your leaders didn't understand either. But now, be sorry for what you did and change your lives. Turn to God so your sins may be forgiven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peter was reminding the people of what happened just a few short days ago. And how do you think that must have made them feel? They must have been sad, maybe ashamed, maybe even frightened of their punishment. But Peter is very compassionate. He's very merciful and understanding. And he says, maybe they really didn't understand what they were doing. And if they're sorry, God would forgive them and give them another chance to change their lives. Now let's all stand for the gospel. Peace be with you. I am risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is a reading from the Gospel of Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Two disciples who had met Jesus on the road to Amos came to tell the others what had happened. They told them how they knew it was Jesus when he broke the bread. And while they were talking about all of this, suddenly Jesus was there, standing right with them. Peace be with you, Jesus said. They were so frightened, and they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said to them, Why are you so frightened and confused? Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me. I am real. A ghost doesn't have a body like this, does it? I really am here. Even though the disciples were filled with joy and wonder, they still could not believe it. So Jesus said to them, Give me some cooked fish. And he ate it. Well, of course, a ghost can't eat. And then he said to them, Remember all the things that I told you before, everything that was written in the Law of Moses and in the Prophets and Psalms was really talking about me and that all would happen to me. And Jesus helped the disciples to understand the scriptures. He said to them, It is written that Christ would suffer and die, but he would rise from the dead on the third day. In his name, everyone must be told that their sins are forgiven when they change their lives and believe. You now are witnesses to all of this. And this is the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the disciples met Jesus, and they all met in a room, two of the disciples did, to tell what happened. And all of a sudden, there was Jesus right, right before them. He didn't come through the door. He didn't sneak in through the window. He just appeared. So, of course, they were a little frightened because they wondered who this was. But all of a sudden, Jesus was able to convince them through his words 
and through his kindness, when he said, peace be with you, they understood that that must be Jesus. And Jesus spoke of forgiveness, just like last week, just like the weeks before. Forgiveness is a very important thing, and God wants to talk about it all the time so that we will know how to forgive and how important it is to be forgiven. If people change their lives and believe in God, their sins will be forgiven. This is exactly what we heard in the first reading and in the gospel reading. When you hurt someone's feelings but realize it was wrong, you can ask for their forgiveness. It doesn't make them feel better only, it makes you feel better also. You both feel better because you have learned how to forgive and how to be forgiven. If you were to drop a stone into a puddle, which is a good time to do at this time of year in springtime, you would notice the ripples just all come out of the puddle. And that's like forgiveness. Once that stone was dropped, all the goodness started flowing out. And goodness happened everywhere. God's love can go out from us in the same way. We can spread love, peace, and joy all over by being forgiven and forgiving. So today we will make a forgiveness bookmark. First, take a regular sheet of paper. It can be a white paper or any color you want. If it's white, you can color on it and cut strips this big, roughly, from the paper. Then, cut some hearts, like this. Just small colored hearts. What you can do is glue the heart to the top of the paper. So it's seen from both sides. If you have a hole punch, you can punch a hole in the bottom of it. If not, it's not too important. You can always glue a string from the bottom or tie a string through so you don't lose your page with your bookmark. On the hearts, on one heart, you can write the word I, as in myself. On the other heart, the word God. When you glue them together, one side will say God, and you print the letters forgive. When you turn it around where the I is, print the letters forgive. When you use your bookmark, you will always remember what it's like to forgive and how good that feels. But also, if you make extra bookmarks and you're ready to forgive others, or others want forgiveness, you can pass that bookmark on. And every time they open their book, they remember how great that felt that you forgave them and that they are able to forgive someone also. Thank you for joining us this week on the third Sunday of Easter. I pray that your week will be blessed with much happiness, much forgiveness, and much joy. God bless.